morning everybody, it's Lynn. This is um, one of those water the snow globes. And I had the intention of making quite a few of these and somehow lost my mojo right in the middle of this one and this is all I got finished. Just not a good month. December's never a good month in our house, so. I love December, don't get me wrong. It's just not ever very good to us. So, I've seen a lot of these. A beautiful, beautiful um, Juliana. I love Vintage Light. She did some really gorgeous ones. I've seen some on Pinterest. I've seen lots of people do these. Um, Kelly Walkout Mall did um, some really pretty ones. So, I, on the other hand, learned a lesson making this one. I should have um, made my base higher up inside the jar because you really can't see if it's set in eye level. You can't see anything, so. It's got a little, um, these are little plastic pine cones that came off of an old little pick from the store. Um, actually, that was a story. It, it's a candle. It's a little bitty candle ring about this big. And it had three of these on there. And it's old. They're kind of like sun faded and stuff like that. The, the ones on the inside. And then there's a flower that I got from Lydia. A triple dog dairy. Thank you, Lydia. And behind it, there's actually a little acrylic flower also that uh, yeah, Mike can see down there with the pearl in the center. Um, this is one of my little handmade carnations that I just stuck a pearl in the center of. Um, this is from that pack of snowflakes that I got at Walmart. Um, little, little plastic snowflakes. Um, it's a little pearl trim. I love this lace that I believe came from Gina. It's g -Buck. 1981. Thanks, Gina. Another one of those flowers at the top with a pearl in the center. Pearl around the edge. was just kind of to help the flower stand up a little bit. And then another double layer of that same lace from the bottom. To make sort of a rosette. With a pretty piece of that satin ribbon. I, I know that has a name when it has the little things on the edge. Not going to come to me right now. So, there it is. Oh, and I put little glass stones on the bottom for feet. I also took some gesso and with a, you know, stiff brush and I splatter painted it on there for some snow. And this is one of those bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree. So, sorry, I'm all over the place. So there it is. I think it really did turn out cute. I didn't want to do any sparkle. <laughs> Can you believe I'm saying that? But I'm doing it as a gift, so I've tried to do no glitter and no sparkle. It does have snow down at the bottom, but it's just some white um, Christmas snow. So. And I don't want to shake it up because it's so humid right now. I don't know how to stop this, but it's actually like got a little condensation on the inside, or at least it looks like it does. When I turn it, then I can't see it, so. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. So, but. I haven't done very many Christmas projects, like I said, and, uh, this one took me forever. So, I'm glad it's done. So, I think I'm going to give that to my aunt. Alright, there's that. Uh, I have a couple of other I have a couple of other videos to get done, so I will be back, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now, y'all have a good day.